going, everybody? Nick DiVirgilio here. GearFest 2019, two really special guests with me in the video studio here. Mike Trapari from SJC Drums and Christina Schiano. Oh, did wow. I say that correctly? You did, I'm very impressed. Christina is a fantastic drummer, YouTube influencer, just a killer drummer. Thank you, I appreciate it. That's really good. <laughs> You've been here doing videos mm -hmm. with Casey Cooper, Jared Falk from Drum You. You guys have been getting lots of great web content yeah. and hanging out. It's great to have you at Sweetwater, so thanks a lot for coming. Thanks for having Thank me. Thank you for coming again, Mike. Of course, man. Your gear is awesome. And what I wanted to talk to everybody about, and you guys specifically, is that um, you've built a great following on YouTube, right? You have lots of subscribers and followers. What's the number now? Uh, I think we just hit 780,000. Nice. I think. Sick. Sick, <laughs> right? That's great. So congratulations on that. Thank you. But I also wanted to talk about your relationship with Mike and SJC Drums. Did you search out SJC? Did SJC find you? You know, what does it take for someone doing what you're doing to connect with a company such as SJC. They make great gear. You have lots of great artists on your roster. How'd that work for you? Yeah, for me, it was actually my first NAM. I think like 2013, 2014. Um, I went into it with a mission. I was just like, I know Josh Dunn from 21 Pilots plays SJC. I want to see their kits. So I went to their booth, got to play on it, and just fell in love. And Mike was right there because he's just always chatting to people. Mm -hmm. Started talking to him. We were talking business. and future plans on how I can like help promote SJC and what I'm doing on YouTube. And back then I was at like 7,000 followers. Okay. So it was not much. Um, and then after NAM, I just, we were emailing back and forth and then we just set all this up and here we are all these years later. It's yeah, crazy. It's incredible. Now how many years ago was that? 2013, 2014? Yeah, like five years ago. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. I'm on my second custom kit with you guys already. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Awesome. Yeah. Were you in your business side of SJC, aside from making the drums, were you following YouTube drummers? Was that a thing for you to keep an eye on the players out there? Yeah, it was like back then, not as much because right. it was fairly new. Like YouTube influencers were kind of just starting to happen, especially mm -hmm. in the drum world. Um, but I knew it was going to be a thing and I knew, you know, she had some traction. You know, even 7,000 followers at that point is, or sorry, 700. Um, was it was 7,000 7, 7, 7, 700 or 7,000 is still a substantial yeah. amount of like people following you watching you play the drums and I I kind of knew it was gonna be a thing she was rad like just totally wanted to support the brand which is what we look for sure um, people that kind of have that DNA and the culture and understand it and appreciate it um, so we were just stoked to get on board with her and it's just been exponential growth for her since so she's really the one that made me be like wow drummers can do this this is like a whole new world we need to pay more attention to it sure. for sure I mean, that, that is a huge jump in five years to go from 7,000 to 700,000. Yeah, that's when I started taking, after my first name, I started taking it really seriously. And I'm just like, I want to do this as a job. Let's actually put a plan down. So that's why I, I just mapped it all out. Now, do you have a team of people helping you? All by myself. You're doing it all um, yourself. The only thing I outsource is my mixing because I don't know how to mix drums. Okay. Everything else, editing, filming, that's all me. Are you playing every day? No, I mean, actually. Because, I mean, editing, I mean, we, we have a team of, a big team of people here at Sweetwater editing videos yeah. constantly. I know it's not a, it's not a quick process. Mm -hmm. So how much do you have to spend doing that as opposed to coming up with new things to make? I think drumming yeah. is the smallest portion of what I do at the moment because most of my time is actually spent answering business emails and YouTube comments and all that. So the only time I actually get to sit behind my kit is when I'm planning a cover that I'm doing literally the day before I'm filming it. So I don't get to actually play anymore. So that, I'm actually trying to outsource that um, or hire a team of some sort because I want to get back to actually drumming. And what she does that's super cool that helps grow that, that fan base is that engagement. And that's super totally. important. That's what, any, you're running a business, right? I mean, exactly. That's what you got to do. Totally. Right? Yeah. And just being personable and like liking or commenting back to everything that everybody writes is something that you've done a great job at that yeah. right. really makes that grow for sure. Thank yeah, you. it keeps that connection yeah. with, the, with your fans, right? Exactly, want, yeah. Want keep them wanting more and telling their friends and all of that kind of yeah. stuff. So now what is it about SJC drums specifically? I mean, I knew you went and played, you love the sound, but so uh, your personal custom kit, what do you have? Uh, right now, I'm on a maple ripple, turquoise ripple kit. Um, I got two rack toms, which I haven't played on in years. <laughs> so for the new kit, I wanted two rack toms. Um, 10, 12, 14, 14 snare, got Zildjian cymbals, okay. Remo heads. Um, it's a really nice kit. Yeah, it's a just really maple nice shells, kit. 45 degree edges, okay. like just a real versatile kit that yeah, you can just play, play all styles of music. Because your yeah. covers kind of go all over the all place, over, right? Yeah. yeah, so you need something that kind of fits all of that, mm -hmm. too. Now, do you get a chance to get out of your studio and play ever? No, I'm, I've never been in a band ever in my life. Um, I'm in New York and people think it's like a music scene. I don't know any musicians by me, which is strange. <laughs> um, so 
if anyone's watching, if you want to hit me up for uh, yeah. some, I do session work with artists, but it's mainly like virtual session work. They'll be in some yeah. state and they just send it to me. Yeah. So I never actually get to play live. So that's amazing. The world has definitely changed. Right? Yeah. yeah. I, mean, I was just going to say how crazy that, is that? Yeah, because you can make a living and do your art. Yeah. And you know, you're doing it in just a different way than the vast majority of people have to do. Mm -hmm. So as a, as a manufacturer, and you're building your drums and catering to all kinds of different things, how does her style of playing fit SJC's vibe and mold? Yeah, our vibe and mold, honestly, like we are very proud of the drums we make and the craft that goes into them. But we've really made a, a statement in the industry by having people like Christina playing our drums and supporting the company and repping the brand, flying the flag. Like endorsements is such a... Uh, loose term in this industry sure. where it's just like I want an endorsement they think that automatically means free drums yeah. where like she's endorsing us which is very important she's got our logos on every video she talks about SJC all the time that's super important mm -hmm. we like to support anybody that's playing our drums whether they're getting their first kit and they're a young kid or a session drummer or a seasoned guy that's out there touring mm -hmm. we're going to treat all them the same um, and it's a reciprocal relationship and it works really well in a situation like this where we have each other's backs. We're constantly posting her stuff, our logos are in her videos in front of close to a million people now, which is incredible. Um, I mean, there are, you will be in a band for sure someday. Like you're gonna be the drummer of a rad band. Like you see these drummers that are YouTube drummers that are getting massive gigs, like yeah. the Chainsmokers drummer. Was like a, yeah, he's like yeah. a YouTube drummer. That, that sort of stuff is so cool and like just, the fact that she connects with her consumers and, and fans and things like that is something that we take a lot of pride in as sure. well. And it's just a good fit. And like we're hoping to inspire and motivate more young kids and, yeah. and kids that don't even know that they want to play the drums yeah. to, to right. pick up the sticks and play because of, you know, people like Christina and then get an SJC kit or snare drum because they love the sound and the look and they just love sure. the whole package. So yeah. I think it's cool what you guys do on your social media too is you promote like welcome like oh this kid just got his first SJC, yeah. SJC kit and I think that's really cool how you're not just promoting you know Trey Cool and Josh Dunn like all right. the time it's the smaller people as well. Totally. Yeah. It's a balance and it's for yeah. me I always think what would 12 year old Mike be stoked <laughs> on? And 12-year-old Mike bought a custom kit and I didn't get treated well at all. I wanted to feel like I was part of this family and mm -hmm. I didn't get that. Right. Uh, so if we can give that to kids, um, man, that's the coolest thing. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Going on with that, what you asked before, like what also made me pick them besides like their drums, it's the people. Like sure. I've never, I deal with so many brands and you guys are just like insane. Like I always tell them like I genuinely love you. And Thank like you. everyone, <laughs> I know everyone that works there. I've met them. Like we have each other's like numbers, like we text, we FaceTime, yeah. like it's just, I never had this kind of connection with a company. Cool. So it's just really, it's a really cool vibe. I like it. That's right. awesome. Yeah. That's really cool. So what would you tell a young drummer as far as seeking out an endorsement? I know you went to NAMM, you're hustling, right? You're yeah. making stuff happen. Mm -hmm. So is that the number one thing? Do you have any sort of little tips and tricks, advice you could give to people that are kind of going down this road? Yeah, one thing I actually used to do, which I sent you too, I made a drum resume. Okay. Um, so it just showed all the gigs I've done or what I'm doing on social media with my stats. And then I also wrote future plans, how I could promote your company. Because a lot of people, yeah, they don't realize it's a two-way street. Like the company is going to promote you, but you also really have to promote them. Mm -hmm. So you have to give them a clear guide on how you can actually do that. Right. So in my case, it was my social media and how I know like I'm going to grow on this and do all that. So I think people really need to treat it as a business um, interaction for endorsements. It's not just, hey, give me some free drums. Right. That doesn't happen. Right. And just staying in touch. Like, she'd constantly hit us up like, hey, this is what I'm working on. Here's my new video. Check it out. And it's like, we love that. I love seeing that. She's active. I'm seeing the growth. She's sharing that with us. Um, and then she's front of mind with us. When we do events, we just had an event in Brooklyn last year. We teamed up with Vans and we do these cool drum workshops sure. and we had Christina play. And like, that's when it really hit for me. I was like, you have fans here. There was like, <laughs> A bunch of people like taking photos of their after. I was like, whoa, this is cool. Like it's taking the YouTube stuff and putting it in, in re a real life situation. So it's just that thing of just saying what's up and staying in touch with people, hustling. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it is a business. Like she's out <laughs> at her hotel last night doing emails. Yeah. It's like not not yeah. just constant, um, you know, partying or whatever Definitely it looks not. like on the outside. It's <laughs> yeah. running a business. Totally. Sure. Yeah. That's awesome. Congratulations on what you achieved. Thank I you. think that's killer. Same to you, Mike. Thank the, you, man. the drum company's killing and it's great stuff. Really happy to have you both here. Um, I got a little connection. My dad was born in Brooklyn, so I got some Brooklyn roots wow. in my family. Awesome. So that's, that's why you're so just cool. Just wanted to mention that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Uh, so, guys, thank you so much. I, thanks for coming to Sweetwater. It's great to have you here. Thanks for coming back to GearFest again. Cool. And uh, just wish you guys both all the best. Thank you so much. Thanks, you too. Nick. Thank right. you, Sweetwater. GearFest yeah. rules. Thank you. Thanks, Christina. <laughs> Keep it up. Right. Thanks for watching, everybody.